All right. Look at this luxury. Okay, how are we doing, guys? Welcome back to Billy Four Rocks. Today is going to be something different. I'm going to be comparing my, <coughs> excuse me, my iPhone 11 Pro Max with my old or a old iPhone 7, which was my previous phone. If you want something a little bit more in depth in terms of all the technical jargon. There's loads of videos on YouTube uh, where you'll be able to find that out. This is going to be purely the differences in the lenses and how well they take images. I'm going to be standing in the same place, taking the same image of the bike using the ultra wide angle lens, the standard wide angle lens and the telephoto lens. I'm going to be showing you the video stabilization on the uh, new iPhone, which is amazing. Uh, and I should be doing some shots on the old phone. So if you was thinking about upgrading and you wanted to know the difference in the quality of the images, this might sway you either way. So without further ado, let's take a look at the software comparing the old with new and we'll take some shots. Let's do it. Okay, so we've got the iPhone 11 set up on its camera page. Just to give you a quick run through for the menu, I won't show you the, the uh, iPhone 7 because you'll all be super familiar with that. You know what that's about. So let's have a quick glance through. We've got time lapse, slow mo, video, photo, portrait, and pano. You'll notice above some of these options, you get these three choices coming up here. And as I'm sure you're aware, what that is, is the differences in between the lenses that it chooses at the back. So let's go through those options and see the differences that it makes. All right, so at the moment I'm on the photo option and it is on its standard wide lens. If I click to the left, it gives you ultra wide. If I click on the far right, it gives you the telephoto lens. Telephoto lens enables you to zoom right in and get amazing close-ups um, of whatever you're shooting. That is impressive. Okay, so, and for example, if you're shooting video and you're on the standard wide lens, hit record, and you can, whilst it's recording, flip between the lenses. Unbelievable. That is crazy good. All right, so let's quickly compare that to the old iPhone 7. Let's get them both on photo, which they are, yep. So obviously there's a lot more pick, being picked up on the uh, iPhone 11, a lot more detail in the highlights. Hopefully that's coming up on the screen there. But on the 11, there's details in the highlights, whereas on the old 7, it's just bleached out. And look at the wall. Look how much detail's coming up on the wall. On there, it's almost completely lost on the 7. It's crazy. And just have a look at the video. That's what it's capturing on the 7. That's what it's capturing on the 11. But... If I want to capture more, I can go ultra wide on the 11 and get all that extra information in. Okay, so that's the difference between the two cameras in terms of your choice of lenses and how they function and how they look. What I want to do now is show you a quick video. I'm just going to walk up and down this alleyway down the back here. I'm going to show you how good this video stabilization is on the iPhone 11. But first of all, I'm going to do the same video on the iPhone 7. Let's have a look.
you must admit that stabilization is unbelievably good in comparison to the old one crazy crazy how good that is all right so we've done the photos we've done video what I want to show you next is it's night mode on the 11 and we'll do the same shot with the 7 again so we can compare but at the moment it's too bright there's too much sunshine coming through and I don't want to test it properly uh, to just show you how good the night mode on the 11 really is so we're going to come back in a couple of hours wait till it gets dark put on the single light one of those little LEDs turn it right down low and get a nice shot of something in a sort of murky dark corner there and just see how much light the 11 can pull out of just a tiny little speck all right see you in a bit Actually, what I'm going to do is before I just wind this video up, I'm going to test the dark mode again. I'm going to go out to the back alley down the um, outside there and see what that gives us. That's just a long dark alley. There's no lighting apart from a guy's garage light, which is right down the end. And uh, we'll do the first shot on the uh, seven and again, the second shot on the 11. Let's see how that looks. Well, there you have it, guys. Uh, that's the comparison test. Uh, just a very basic difference between the lenses and the night shots, blah, 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 between the 7 and the latest 11 Pro Max. Very impressive camera indeed. Um, I can honestly see people replacing their DSLRs um, with a iPhone 11. God knows how good the 12 is going to be. These things only get better makes you ask the question where's it gonna end how good does it have to get crazy all right that is it i hope you enjoyed that one guys something different um i will see you all again very soon take it easy see you later on guys bye